Hi, I am Maggie Bicky and I'm a missionary at Campus Crusade for Christ, now known as Crew, in Orlando. I am representing Revival Time Assembly in Trinidad and I would like to thank my senior pastors Lloyd and Norma Hart for the opportunity to share this week's devotional with you and to say thanks to you guys as well for tuning in. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your faithfulness toward us. Thank you that you left glory to come to earth so that we can have a relationship with you. We just appreciate you so much and pray that you will guide this time today in your word. Thank you, Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. Today, I would like to share with you from Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11, starting with verses 5 to 8, which reads as follows. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Recently, I was thinking about this passage and how different Jesus is from us. He is a God of all glory, yet he did not grasp equality with God. He willingly emptied himself of glory to come to earth in human form and in a very humble way also. Could you imagine how different our lives would be if we did not hold on to things and cling to them? If we were not to want things to happen only to our own advantage, but would prefer someone else gets good even if we have to do without? We would be learning to become more like Jesus. Have you ever stopped to wonder if Jesus, who, by the way, had the right to stay in glory, if he did not give that up, but if he clung to it and said, I am not going to earth, what would have happened to us? We would never have had the hope of knowing God and we would die in our sins. What he did was such a huge sacrifice and it truly deserves our devotion and that we live according to the example he gave us. Many times, if we are honest, we do not live like Jesus. And lately I've been asking myself at each turn if I am grasping or if I am being like him. As we choose to depend on His Holy Spirit and not cling and grasp and place our confidence in anything or anyone but Him, we will grow to become more like Jesus. Someone has said, But polish, shine and show is not a part of spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity is shaped by downward, not upward movement, looking out for others instead of ourselves. And when we do, just as the Lord did with Jesus in verses 9-11, He will take care of us. Verses 9-11 says, Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. He will never leave us by the wayside, and we will not lack but will work on our behalf and will be pleased with us as we obey his example and his word. So I, my encouragement to us is to take inventory for ourselves, to see if we are grasping at anything, and to trust the Lord to not grasp, to allow the Lord to take care of all that concerns us. He loves us and is faithful and will take care of us, even when we waver, and we can truly bring glory to him as we trust him, even in the midst of being uncertain because he is faithful. Heavenly Father, you are so faithful, but even if we are faithless, you remain faithful because that is who you are. We thank you, Lord, that we do not have to try to have confidence in any other thing or any other person except you. We do not have to worry about what will become of us. We do not have to just want our own advantage, but we can have your mind, O oh Lord, and, and just live in such freedom of just wanting good for everyone, knowing with, a, with such an assurance that you are looking out for us. Lord, help us to truly love you and become like you. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for listening, and God bless you. Hope you have a really great day, and see you guys tomorrow, God's willing. Bye.